let's do a Q&A. So every single day I get asked questions about the old tongue split. So I thought I would just put this uh, little video of my personal experience to the tongue split and maybe you're considering doing it yourself, maybe you're not, maybe you're just a little bit curious. Regardless of what your reason is for watching this video, I'm going to try and answer all your questions and if there's any questions that I have not sort of answered, drop me an email or in, like, in the comments and I will get back to you as soon as I can. So the first question, did it hurt? No, of course not. Yes, it hurts. Um, so for those of you that don't know, the procedure is that someone will hold your tongue out and then they will get a scalpel and they will cut down your tongue. Um, my artist, Sampa, he did one cut on the top, one cut on the bottom, and then they got uh, needle and thread and stitched both sides. I think I had me over 10 stitches uh, going from the middle down to the front. The healing is probably the worst part, and I mean the worst part. Um, first, you can't eat, you can't drink, and communication is pretty difficult, and you will saliva everywhere. The, the goo, the drool is fantastic. I mean, if someone wants a blowjob, one, it's going to hurt, but two, the drool is, is uh, very prominent. When um, I had had the tongue split, um, I had to travel back from London on the bus because I'm a cheapskate, and the procedure is slightly expensive but you pay for what you get for you pay you pay for what you get um, we traveled back from London it took about three hours I had to travel across London from where I actually got the procedure um, I had to we, we got reels and reels and reels of tissue like kitchen roll I was just walking around London with this kitchen roll like of drool and blood coming out. Um, it wasn't the most glamour thing I've ever done, but it was definitely worth it. Anyway, it feels a bit like being punched in the bottom teeth. Um, and as well, when you've strained your tongue a lot, that bit, that hurts. It feels like, um, like a pressure, but it's, the pain isn't too intense. I would say on a pain scale it was maybe about six or seven, but I have quite a good pain threshold, I think. The biggest issue is that because you find it hard to eat, personally, um, because I wasn't eating enough or drinking enough, I had really, really bad stomach acid and it kept coming up and that was making me feel sick and I was I was retching. And every time I retched, uh, the, the stitches would pull that for me was the worst part but as well with healing it's not just the lack of eating the pain and all of that you also have like a full body well some people have like a full body illness whereabouts um it feels a bit like you've got a really bad flu without the runny nose you feel really really tired your body is just energyless and you just need to snuggle up in your bed and sleep it off um sleeping isn't too hard because like i said the pain for me personally wasn't too bad but it's not the most fun experience the cutting is nothing in comparison to the healing so yeah when people ask does it hurt kind of hurts just a little bit this question i get asked a lot is how did you learn how to do so many tricks um i'll do a quick thing of the tricks that I know. Uh, I'll probably forget some because there's quite a few, but yeah, this is sort of what I can do. Now, the other side isn't as good, but <laughs> you tend to have one prominent side and then one side that's a little bit lazy and this side is my better side 
Um, <clears throat> trying to think what else I can do. I feel like I repeated myself a little bit, I'm sorry about that, but um, yeah, so trick-wise, uh, some people don't get that much movement. I'm really, really lucky. I had a very movable tongue prior to the procedure, so I think that plays into it quite a bit. To learn, I sat there with a the mirror for about, maybe about two hours in total, just sitting there and going, <laughs> and then I just somehow was walking about and I found that I could do more and more things, and each time I felt something new happening, I'd get a mirror and I'd have a look and see what was happening so that I could then redo it, work on it and carry on. Now some people have more movement, some people have less movement, it's just one of those things you can't... I personally don't think that it's something that you can help. However, going to a proper artist that is renowned for brilliancy will help. Don't go to a cheap knockoff artist, go to the best one you can find because at the end of the day it's not just about you know the aesthetic of it it's about it, it's a procedure it's a surgery at the end of the day and you need to make sure that you are in the best hands um some people like pierce their tongue and get a piece of string and then wait for the uh, a string there so the piercing there and then some string and they wait for their tongue to, to just sort of like i, I don't know what it, i don't Either way, just don't do that. Go to a suit, like a proper artist, get it done properly, get it cut. It's less pain, less trauma to the tongue. You don't want to cause yourself prolonged issues. Just get it done. Don't do it yourself either. Oh my goodness, because you have nerves. Like, that's another thing. When you first get your tongue done, you won't be able to feel it properly. You will have nerve damage. However, if you go to a reputable artist, you will not get permanent nerve damage. For a while, couldn't taste properly. Um, your tongue sort of scabs up with white goo. While it's healing, it kind of goes a little bit rancid, but that's, it's healing, it's healing. It doesn't smell particularly good because of the bacteria, but just sort of go with it and you'll, you will be fine. Another question is blowjobs. Does, blow, does a blowjob feel better? Well, I don't know. Um, and I didn't do it for that. So I'm not going to answer that question. Just don't ask that question to someone who's got their tongue split. Unless they want to tell you, or their partner wants to tell you, but just don't ask that sort of question. There's no need for that. Do things taste differently? This is a ridiculous question, but I'll answer it because a lot of people are. Once it's healed, no, everything tastes normally. Um, you don't grow new bloody taste buds in the middle. It's a cut. At the end of the day, it's a cut. Everything returns back to normal. Speed. My speech is perfect. I have no lisp. Um, but I do find that when I'm tired, I put less effort into my speech and that's when it isn't as good. But generally my speech went back to normal. I have no lisp. Um, again, it's down to the individual. It's down to the procedure. It's down to how well you've had it done. Sorry, my cat's meowing. But um, if you just practice, I had an um, issue with saying the word jade, jade, d -d 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 -d. the J and the D and the E. Um, however, just keep talking and you will get there with your speech. Some people have permanent speech issues afterwards, but personally I didn't. I put a lot of effort into my diction and made sure that it returned back to normal. So, I think I've gone through quite a lot. I'm going to leave it there. If you've got any other questions, pop down in the comments um, and I'll try and cover them. But for now, I think that's pretty much everything. I've gone through the procedure itself, uh, the aftershock, where it will hurt, uh, speech, taste, um, and just general information and how you actually learn the tricks. So I'm going to leave it there. But yeah, any questions? bang them down and I will get back to you. Have a fabulous day darlings.